We're here on location today with artist Arturo Teo. Good morning, Arturo. Good morning, Ted. I hope it's all right if I kind of tag along with you today. No, that's fine. I, uh, I'm Arturo Teo, and uh, I'm a member of the Oak Group. We're a group of painters who paints for a purpose, and our purpose is mainly preservation, protection, conservation of uh, landscapes. What, what are we doing today? Well, I'm, I'm working on one of my most ambitious projects here on location. I'm trying to... Uh, somebody give me a great challenge. And uh, especially challenging since uh, our last show is of small images and this is one of the biggest works that I've ever done. And, you know, painting on location is not just like other kinds of painting. It's more of a half an art and half a sport, you know. One of the challenges of this particular work is not just the size, which is tremendous, but the subject matter. Brushstroke technique is important here because it depicts the texture of the subject. You know, uh, people sometimes have their ideas about color schemes. They want to match the colors to the couch or something. But I let the landscape, I think it's better to let the landscape dictate the color schemes that you're working. In this particular location, in this particular kind of day, the silver grays are the colors to use. I remember a particular seascape that Meredith Abbott did, one of her kids called it, oh, hey, those are the colors of a quarter, and that's what she called the painting, and I think that's the colors we're having today. good to step away from your work as, you, as you're painting so you can see what it looks like at a distance. Oh, I think I'm in trouble here. But one of the best advices that I've heard is from Marsha Burt and she tells people, whenever you're in trouble just go ahead and get a big brush. I think that's what I need to do. Get something a little a little bigger here. I think this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's better. Basically, when you're painting, you have to think about your motivation for doing it, which in this case is just protection and preservation, the color, your colors, and basically your materials. You know, you have to do them the right way. It's hard to figure how much to charge for a painting this size, but even my small ones go for several hundred dollars. 